Hello, and welcome to a new series of um, Let's Play videos. I'm going to be running through the close combat games in order. Um, that's chronolog that's historical order, not release order. So, um, this is only going to be the Matrix remakes, um, not the originals. So, that's going to go Longest Day, um, Gateway to Khan, Panthers in the Fog, um, Last Stand at Arnhem, and then Locked Online. Or what watch on the Rhine. Um, if Bloody First comes out, pff, that's been coming out for years. Alright, so, quick explanation what is close combat? Um, this is, well, this is my first war game properly, um, back when we got into this. Um, we're gonna want the longest day campaign here, and yep, always obey orders. So this is a very old school thing. You've got your very tiny stripe sprite men moving around um, in a top-down battle. Each campaign is a linked campaign, so your men will um, fight over the same maps. Um, when you blow up a building or destroy a tank, it will be present in the next map, which I've always loved. Some of the um, Arnhem games, especially in Close Combat 2, just led to me ruining entire towns. So, for strength here, I'm going to be playing as the Allies, because the AI in this game is not great. It's pants on head retarded. Um, so, I am going to have all my games with Drew, them as Elite, and I'm going to play as the Allies who are normally the attackers. I've set this for 15 minutes, so hopefully in most times, I'm just going to open that up. Um, so I can make sure I'm retorting. Most times we should be able to get two videos in and you do yet to stalemates, it is just part of the game. Alright, um, so next, just call it the longest day. This is the campaign map. As you can see this is not built for decent monitors. This bit was not expanded. Um, you can see it, if you can just about see in this tiny corner here, I'm, I'm just getting close. Um, Utah, Omaha, Gold Sword, and Juno. So, it is June 6th, the, day, the game will end on June 9th, and it is currently night. We have no support elements, I'll get to them later, but we have Paratroopers League in Anfield, the Fur Causeway, we've got some of me, me Um we've also got Germain de Varenville, I hate French names, Saint Mont de Mont, -Mont Verville. And then we've got a bit of a gap until we all be down. Don't worry, these are the beaches. We will be seeing people land in the daytime. We've got the Paris at the Merville, Battery and Pegasus Bridge. As you see some of these are different. These guys here are in occupied territory, therefore they can't move. Um, they're currently gonna have to fight some battles. We do, however, have here the five reverse paratrooper unit. Don't know, doesn't tell you which company. Um, actually, I think that's actually a brigade, isn't it? A battalion who don't actually have to do anything to do. So, I have an option to move them. Uh, if someone, if I move them and someone comes in here, attacks in here, then you know, I've lost this area. But I think I should be okay to push these guys. I've not played this in a while, but if I push them here, and I think me, these guys, this is a German supply, I think. So I'm going to abandon St. Mary Glees and push on the Port Bray, Bray or whatever, and see if we can take that. Looking good. Everyone else is locked in place. So, execute. I found some Germans. Excellent. So, as you can see, they've locked in place, and they've locked in place. They haven't taken either of these two, which is not bad. This is hopefully so I can take count on. If I can take count on before dawn or early on day one, then I have cut the entire of this north off. If I can take that as well quickly and that, it should look good. Um, so, that's not bad. Let's do it next. So, this is our first battle. We're going to uh, St. Germain Verneville. Um, okay, 
it's the middle of the night certain things are not going to be useful to me I'm going to keep the bazooka teams but I do not want this AT gun here is the list of my fourth pool this is what this unit can actually pull the call on uh, that's how much I've got in reserve this is just telling me it's a, a 55 a second of 101st and um, I'm going to take a second mortar team so I've got 60 mil mortar, 81 mil mortar, 30 cal machine gun, a couple of squads and bazookas, and a pristine H quadrilaters. So, still got good reserves, I'm not depleting too many of these, and I could do horrible things to edit my opponent, but I'm not. Eyes oh, are attacking, that's good. Alright, unit deployment zone. This is random with the paratroopers. Um, as you can see, welcome to the lice font. Could make it easy on you, but nah. So, I've already got the road to St. Mary Glees. That's good. These are the objectives. If I take all of these, it'll be a timer. 60mm mortar is going to just quickly move and take that. That's a nice, easy one to take. Everything else is in German hands, and this is going to be nice. So, so it's nice and daylight now. It won't be nice and daylight when I press the button. So I'll put my 30 cal machine gun in here, I'll put my platoon commander here, a rifle team in the hedgerow down here, a bazooka team in here. My H1 mil mortar can fit in the, that courtyard there because I don't want to risk losing it. This engineer team. I'm basically, I put everyone in the building so I know what I've got. Another rifle team. These guys are actually going to move into this building here. Up here, I've got a rifle team, bazooka team, and a platoon H quarters. You can hold the objective. You guys can move there to the church and there. Who else have I got hanging around? I've got a platoon HQ and an MG team here. I move these flights fast to this building along with the rifle team. I'm going to move fast to this building. Hopefully, that won't get them killed. This MG team is just going to take up on the crossroads and try and machine gun anybody down. I'm basically using this little mini map here to find people. Who's that hiding in there? Another platoon headquarters. I'll whack you down there. So. I'm going to give you a move order to here. That way you should be able to. I'm actually going to move. Let's remember my shortcut, so that's defense. By moving them a bit away from the hedgerow, I should be able to keep them a bit covered. So, not much I can do here apart from hit begin. As you can see, this is night. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to seize this fairly easily. I'm going to move my oh, first shots. We spotted somebody. I'm going to. Yeah, there seems to be a few people over there. We've taken the that. All oh, right, where's my 80 mil mortar? Because this will give a bit more light. Oh, they're mortaring me back. So they're around the crossroads. We've, we've taken that, let's see if we can push up to there. Nope. Defend, defend, defend. More to that building, please. Okay, this is pretty normal for these missions. The first ones are very nightmarish. Oh, we got guns there. They think it's more in the open, I can use my mortars onto them. And onto there. Ooh. Oh, I love this game. So, fun story, I was playing the original Close Combat 2 with a friend at university. Uh, it was relatively early. I'm an early riser, I don't drink. So, it was quite early morning, and we didn't realise we had the speakers on 
My mate who was um, playing the game at the time had walked his um, uh, airborne platoon into a death trap and they were getting cut down. Um, well, one of my flatmates comes in rather unhappily to tell us to stop recreating the song that I think she said. Oh, let me open the germs in the open and let's work see what we can do to that. Oh, that's better. So, down here is the time ring and then morale. The morale only really kicks in if you wipe out entire teams. So, up here, we're likely to see a team wiped out. Okay, so it looks like the Germans are quite heavy in the top, so... I'm going to assume they've moved up a little bit further now and walked my fire. I'm going to be running low on um, ammunition for those guys to yeah. If I move them like that, I should be able to get them in. I'm going to make a sprint across and get into here. Need to clear these grenadiers out. I hear grenades going off. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, I picked another guy off after it. All right, we dropped them around. We're taking the victory location down here. This is very important. So, the weapons are on next map. Yeah, I'm hoping that my volume's right at this point and you can hear me clearly. I can't hear myself talk over the years, but I have that. I could order an assault, but I don't see the point. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be taking that top one. What are we doing? We've got a good number. I have got a flare. I am wondering if I should fire my flare off now. Yes, definitely should fire my flare off now. Catch them in the open and cut them down, lads. Oh, we just lost the first team. Oh, grenades going off. Meeting engagements tend to be quite fun. Okay, that guy took a surrender will you? Mm, there's not much left for the machine gun thing. Oh, you can hear the German guns fire. Oh, beating that guy to death. That's a nice minky sound. On the good side, their morale's dropping more than mine. tank gun there, I think I can get my platoon gun to finish those off. If I can get them to break, I take the whole map. If they get me to break, they take the whole map, otherwise we'll be fighting from where I'm anyway. So taking these little random bits is very important. Okay, so these guys got morale. So, let's find somebody who's panicking. Here we go. So, you've got green, who's okay. Um, sorry for my heart bar, it's an old game still, so you can have uh, you can have to live with that. This guy's panicking. Um, I think we just killed another guy. It's going actually pretty well. Got my party guys, you can put in a bit of support. Nailing these guys as they come across the open is actually done quite a good, pretty good. I think we just go gunned down somebody else. Oh, my MG team's taking a hammering. This rifle team, however, has just taken one serious wounded and one dead. Uh, one lightly wounded. So I'm actually going to tell them to assault into here. Just because I can take the casualties a bit more. Get all the potential salt into there. 
Because again, if I can break then, that'll take them close to breaking. There can't be many of these guys left. So, sound of grenades going out. No, oh, so many grenades. Got them in the open, tell me that machine, and we broke them. Um, oh, we didn't get the whole map. Oh, that's a bit annoying. We managed to take, yeah, a couple of extra vitrification. So you can see the light areas, we're going to have all these, and we just got to push onto here. Uh, it's annoying. Alright, so the fun part here now is you can see everyone's surname, you can go through all these guys. One act of baby, two kills, killed in action, purple hearts all over the place. One act of cowardice. Uh, ooh, infantry badge, I think. I should probably actually drop the bazookas, they're no no good to me at night. I'm not gonna be running into tanks for the first day or two. So I can now go to the next battle. Which is Saint Marie de Mont. Yep, I'm still well in time, so that's it. So again, we do not want any of these. What we probably could do with is another 81 millimeter mortar and a couple more rifle teams. Being able to push them is going to be quite useful. So this one's led by Colonel Sink. Yep, Band of Brothers fame. 12 hand grenades. So, yeah, if you click on each of these, you'll find out a bit more detail. Explosives for the engineers, mortars. Yeah. Attack. Oh. Oh, this has got to be my best deployment ever. I've got the church. That means I can stick a machine gun in a level 4. I wish you'd take more than one machine gun now. Oh, I can't quite stick, but I will be able to get my men in the building here and then get them into a level 4 church. I've got the cafe, I've got most of the urban area, and I can push out from here nicely. Germans are probably going to be from the south and from here, so. That building there gives me a nice line of sight. Down anyone stupid enough to come down the road. My engineers are going to start them in the road here and I'll move them fast here. And then we can see what's happening. I've got the platoon HQ there. Rifle teams. Another one in the church. But I want them to try and get to there, South Town. Get to there. H1 mil mortars. Let's put you in the air. Let's have an MG team. That's good. I'm going to want you down here. Again. Into there. I can push out from this quite nicely, actually. I'm going to take that for level 3 building down the corner. Looking good, looking good. Rifle team. I need to take up there, which is not going to be fun. But if I bound up and around, it might be doable. My 60mm mortar and 81mm mortar can sit in there. I think everyone has got orders. Oh, that rifle team won't. If we can get into that corner there, we can take South Town. Hmm. Uh, I'll just have to see who doesn't move. Normally taking this church is like the high point of the battle. But we can now change the church tower, which won't be much use at night. 
but next time we hit daytime that's going to make some serious difference okay no one's been fired at yet let's take this level 4 house and move you to sit there Okay, I get suspicious when the game does this. There should be German somewhere. I'm like a minute in and no one's died. This is not normal. Ooh, mortars. So the Germans have seen me. Okay, so you... Move down to that end of the church, please. Oh, we've got, we've got our first German spotted. Right in front of the rifle team. And an MG team. Let's flare them. I'll strike them. That's good. Building will be a bit tougher, so. Alright, we're taking the road to Verville. So we can actually just push down here, I think. I'm actually just going to push a rifle team in, into the orchard here. Oh. The infantry gun. Oh god lord. Oh. Thank you very much. Alright. You go to exit two. If we can secure an exit in the first night, I will be happy firing. Alright. Gonna put these guys in defending for a minute. We haven't got any actual visual targets. The church tower's getting hammered. Okay, I think we need to start moving up. Oh, that's a bit of fire from the north there. So, it's a bit more real time than I'm used to. Well, not used to because I play this a lot, but you're, you're used to seeing me playing. But I've just always got a soft spot for these games. So, this won't be a regular series. This will probably be a whenever my, my RPG games fail. That's a white off dropping team wiped out. Grenadian the same off team was that second off team. Okay, I know what I can do, I can get some smoke. If I can remember what the smoke button is. I don't know who you're shooting. Please stop wasting ammo. Plenty of covering fire on that building, plenty of smoke. But there's more than I expected. 
Sorry, I went for that. Ooh. All right. Get down there and wipe those guys out. Nope, they surrendered. That was the gun crew. I feel a little bad about that. Alright, time to push on out. So if I can take that. Then... This is actually looking pretty good. I have... Who's, who's firing? Who's taking fire? Oh, good lord. That was a one-sided engagement. Alright, 60 mil. I actually trust my mortars quite a lot. I probably shouldn't trust them. This this is danger close. Ooh. And this guy down here. It's fine. They can sort that building and sort them out. Group just exp just surrendered. <laughs> Did you just? I thought those guys had surrendered. Did you just mow down a couple of guys who surrendered? Did I turn my back for five seconds? You guys? Oh no, they're there. It's fine. Just one of them. There goes a rifle thing. I got cocky. It went too well. What I can do though well is drop a load of mortar fire on them. Hi there, yes. I'm very much interested in taking these um Locations, thank you very much. Do you know what? I don't think I'm going to take that ceasefire. I've got like a stream of prisoners coming up, it's fantastic. Who's not moving here? Oh, platoon. Orchard taken, so it means if I do just take two more, I have fully secured this map. At least they've got a nice bit of um, I right. ah, picked one off, that's good. Ah, mortars out of ammo. Yeah, we go. they've got a nice wall to hide behind. Two rifle teams so far. I'll, 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 I'll take two rifle teams for the map. What else can I bring in to support these guys? Okay, that machine gun team is actually doing pretty well. Seeing them in a heavily shelled out building. Oh, that's the second one I put in, that's why. firing. Oh, 
Oh, they've taken the top bit of the map. Yes, I know they've offered to see fire. I just don't care. Because I can break them soon. Because I've just got into the day range. There we go. Yeah, Saint Marie de Mont is mine. Quick look for any anything other than a purple heart. But you know, that was pretty um a pretty oh, details that's something for. So I've lost twenty one, eighteen wounded in action. They've lost two guns, 30 killed and 25 so yeah, so far we're doing pretty well. Hope you enjoyed the video and you join me for some more.